everyone and welcome how are you give me something please give me something oh geez all right that's a little bit better a little bit better you want to go a little bit better than that you've got two champions here from the western bulldogs uh you're probably saving it till they get up here right yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah right thanks uh all i wanted to say is uh welcome along to footy fanatics it's the that's good for footy panel show we do them every week we go to venues all over Melbourne. We bring on two champions from each of the clubs and we have a bit of fun with them. Uh, there's a lot of serious footy panel shows out there at the moment and footy's a pretty serious business, so I get that and I like it. Um, but here, we're not that serious, all right? And you'll quickly work that out. Don't worry about that. Uh, this is the only show where the fans get to meet the players and the players meet the fans. So without too much further ado, we'll just get these guys up here and we'll have a bit of fun with them. What do you reckon? Yeah, all right. Here we go. Our first panellist, uh, he's played a total of 55 games and he's kicked a total of 22 goals. He made his AFL de debut back in 2015. He wears the number 35 on his back. Can you please welcome to the stage, Caleb Daniel. Here he comes. Sorry, mate. All right, we'll just get rid of that. That's just wrong, mate. So wrong. Why would they put that there? Sorry about that. That's better. Hey, Caleb Daniel, everyone. Welcome to the show, mate. Nice to have you here. Thanks for having me. Um, ladies and gentlemen, our second panellist, he's played a total of 139 games and kicked 108 goals. He made his AFL debut back in 2011. He wears the number... Six on his back. Please welcome to the stage, Luke Dowhouse. Lukey Dow. Hi, mate. Good to see you, bro. Welcome along, boys. Nice to have you here. I know the week has been a little bit tumultuous and maybe the week before that, so we're not going to go into any of that stuff because we're not all about doom and gloom here. We're like, we want to put a smile back on your face and make all these people feel that it's good to be a Western Bulldog supporter, all right? So we're, gonna, we're not going to muck around with it too much. We're going to get straight into our first segment and I need two contestants for it. I spoke to them earlier, the lady over here and the gentleman just here, if we could make your way up. We're going to get straight into this. Come on over. Uh, what would your name be, sir? Uh, Andrew. Andrew, if you could take a seat there, mate. And? Michelle. Andrew and Michelle. Wonderful. Good to have you both here. And what we're going to do here, I'm going to introduce the segment. This is where the boys are going to... Instead of me introducing them and going through everything that they're up to, they're going to do it themselves. It's a segment we call Knowing Me, Knowing You. <laughs> Uh, so we've got Andrew and Michelle here. What's going to be happening? Uh, you two are going to be keeping score for what these two boys are going to be doing. Instead of uh, a normal being an int introduction segment, these guys are going to do it. So if you could grab your paddle, Andrew and Michelle, there's yours. Thank you. All right. So what we're going to do here, we're going to introduce the boys with this segment called Knowing Me, Knowing You. And each time that they get one of these questions right, you're going to be turning over the paddle. So Michelle, you're going to be representing Caleb. And obviously, Andrew, you're going to be re representing... Luke, all right, so we're very clear on it. Now I'm gonna explain the rules to the boys. This is how it works, guys. What's gonna happen here is I'm gonna ask you a series of questions about Luke, okay, from to you. You're then gonna answer whether those questions are right or wrong. And each time that they are right, you get a point for it, okay, if you get the right answer. And then I'm gonna revert those questions back to you. That's how it's gonna work. So here we go. Your first question, Caleb, about Luke. What is his age? Uh, Luke's 25. Would that be correct, Luke? Yes. There you go. You can use your microphone for this one. So you've got one point, Michelle. You're off the mark. What is his birth date, month and year? August. <laughs> 1993. Incorrect. Oh, <laughs> August is right. No. August. 92. August 92. Missed out by a year. Well done. Yeah. Close, but we don't pay close here. Um, do you know where he was born? 
Uh, Leopold. Leopold. Geelong. Yeah? Correct. Good, great. Better than hospital bed. Thanks for that. Uh, do you know his middle name? Uh, no, it'd be something Dylan or something. No. <laughs> what is it? Cameron. Well, there you go. <laughs> LCD. That's shocking. <laughs> I like it. All right. Do you know where he last holidayed? Anywhere within Australia or overseas? Oh, he went to um, Hong Kong with me, but I think um, Cambodia. Correct. Wow. All right. You wouldn't want to get the um, the Hong Kong one wrong, would you? <laughs> Considering yeah, you were with him. Yeah. That's okay. I'm uh, um, growing up. Who did he barrack for? Essendon. Correct. Oh, going all right. How is he going score-wise, Michelle? Sitting on five, is he? Or three? Or four. All right. Good. Um, do you know if he collects anything or has a hobby? Uh, likes DJing, so he gets on the decks every now and then. Yes, correct. Yeah, yeah, good. All right. Okay, we'll get you to play some music a little bit later on. Do you know what annoys him the most? Birds. Correct. <laughs> yeah. All right. We're talking the flying kind, aren't we? Yes, yes, yeah, yes of yeah, course. Right. It's fond of yeah. the other ones. <laughs> yeah. um, do you know, uh, does he have a pet? And if so, what is its name? Oh. Yeah, he does have a dog. Yeah. Um, its name's Leroy. Correct. Wow, all right. Um, how many brothers or sisters does he have? Uh, two brothers. Incorrect. Got one. <laughs> oh, okay, all right. Is he superstitious? Oh. Uh, no. Correct. All right, well done. How many goals has he kicked in his career to date? I saw that before, so I'm cheating a little bit. 108. Oh, well done, mate. And you were well listening done. as well. I like it. Yeah, good. Um, how many games has he played to date? 130-something, 131. Close, 139. Mm. No good on this one. Your last question, how would you describe his sense of humour? Oh, I don't know. Yeah, not, <laughs> there's not much sense of humour. Just any time he laughs, it's pretty funny. <laughs> so that's about it. So we're going to go with that? Uh, yeah. Correct. Yeah, <laughs> all right. So what do you finish up with, Michelle? Ten. Ten. All right. Hey, that's not a bad score, ten out of 14. Good luck, mate. Yeah, not bad. Now you get to be as honest as you like here, Caleb, all right, because I'm going to be asking these questions to Luke. This is a nice way of introducing you boys to the show. Do you know what his age is, Caleb? Um, 22. Incorrect. Mm. 21. 21. 21, all right. Um, do you know his birth date, month and year? Oh, this is going to make look bad. I'm <laughs> shocking. Um, 21, so it hasn't happened yet. No, no. Um, I, reckon, I reckon September. No. 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 July. Oh. Close. No yeah. good on July month or year. Trouble here, Andrew. Wow, all right. Sorry. You're hopeful though, Andrew, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, okay. Do you know where he was born? Not hospital bed, all right? Adelaide. Incorrect. <laughs> wow. I was actually born in Queensland. That's hard. Wow. I know you grew up in Adelaide. Yeah, a little grew place called Bow Desert, so good, yeah, luck. There. good luck with that. I don't know, ask the family. <laughs> um, do you know his middle name? Thomas. That's correct. Yes. All right. So he's actually off the mark with Thomas. We like that. Um, do you know where he last holidayed? Hong Kong. <laughs> I yeah. think. Yeah, I'll give him that. Yeah. yeah. You don't yeah. have to give him that. as well. Know, but you're going yeah, to. Nah, yeah, 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 all right, yeah. good, good. Growing up, who did he barrack for? Oh, you would have went for the Crows. That's correct. Yes. Ooh, all right. Um, does he collect anything or have a hobby? Ooh. Collect anything? Hobby? Hobby is playing PlayStation? Yeah, all right, mate, I'll yeah. give you that. <laughs> yeah, you can have that, all right. Um, do you know what annoys him the most? Uh, getting called small. <laughs> yeah, he's right. Yeah, really? Ooh. Should have asked you that before I started there, the show. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> do you know if he has a pet? And if so, what is its name? Mm. I'm trying to think if that's yours or your girlfriend's. Nah, girlfriends. Yep, so no. No, all Correct. right, good answer. All right. How many brothers or sisters does he have? One. Yeah, one sister. One sister, no brothers. Yep, so you got it right. Correct. Well done, that's a point, Andrew. Um, is he superstitious? No. Yes. 
No. Which one are you on with, mate? Yes. Yeah, no. I, yeah, yeah, I am. Yeah. Yes, he is. Yeah. All right. Any uh, hints as to what? Helmet. Helmet, yeah, socks, jocks. Yes. Helmet, socks, jocks. Helps if you go out with socks and jocks, I get that. Um, how many goals has he kicked in his career to date? 55 games. He would have kicked, I reckon, 30? No. No, I don't think so. No, 55... Um, 22. Oh. 22 he's kicked. Okay. Um, do you know how many games he's played to date? 55. Oh, jeez. <laughs> surprise, surprise, yes. <laughs> Very correct. And your last one, score being nine, oh, and he finished up with ten. We could have a draw. Here we go. All right, let's see how we go. <laughs> oh, man. How would you describe his sense of humour? Weird. Weird? Yeah, right. Yeah. Oh, he's got it. Sounds so we got a draw, yeah. which means we're not going to go anywhere Play with off. this. Apart from uh, you both win. So that wasn't too bad. <laughs> you both come up here and you both won a prize. Uh, not too bad. There's a beanie to keep your head warm over the winter months. You'll like that. Uh, on top of that, there's a little, that's good for footy merchandise pack. Michelle, same thing for you. There you go. And uh, there's a merchandise pack for you. So you guys did really well. Thanks for coming up and participating. Well done. All right. So that wasn't too bad. That was just a way, instead of me asking you all the questions, you just ask them yourselves and... We'll uh, sort it out. And uh, we found out that what? You both know enough about each other, really, just to get by. Yeah, we're pretty close, aren't we? Yeah, know a little bit about each other. <laughs> yeah, good. All right. Well, boys, we're going to talk a little bit of footy. We're not going to go into it too much. We're going to discuss the round that's coming up this weekend. I'll put a little piece of paper down there in front of you just to go through it. We don't um, go into this in too much great detail. Uh, and you're about to experience that, but we're just going to give our tips on it. If you want to say a little bit more about it, feel free. Yep. We're going to kick it off. Uh, let's go with talking about the footy for this weekend, Sam. All right, here we go. Uh, so we kick it off with round th round three. Um, it's on Friday night. There's no Thursday night footy this week, so um, we've had it for the last two weeks. Good to get back to a bit of Friday night football, uh, although it is Kelton and Collingwood, um, Friday, April the 6th. Let's hear the Kelton song. That'll do. Let's go straight to the Collingwood one. Thank you very much, Sam. All right, boys. Kelton v Collingwood. They both need a win. Uh, the pressure's on. Who do you reckon is going to get across the line? You go first, mate. Uh, I think Collingwood will. Um, I think they were okay last week um, from, like, two minutes that I saw. So um, I'll go with them. Yeah, I don't sit and watch too many games, but I actually watched the Collingwood game and they looked really good against GWS, so I reckon they're going to get up. Yeah, OK. All right, good. OK, I like that. It's logical thinking, logical tipping. Uh, MCG, 7.50pm on Friday night. Saturday, uh, the 7th of April, boys, we're heading over to Adelaide, Adelaide over 1.15pm. It's Port Adelaide versus Brisbane. Let's hear the Port song. We got the That'll do. Thanks, Sam. Let's go straight to Brisbane. Brisbane. Very exciting. All right, Port Adelaide versus Brisbane. Who do you think here, boys? Um, I think Port Adelaide will win. I think the new crews, they got, they're looking pretty impressive, Port. So They're looking um, very looks strong. Like they're going to get back to their best. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. I think Port Adelaide um, is going to be pretty hard to beat this yep. year. Yeah, I think they've, uh, they've got the right formula at the moment. They're looking really good. Uh, boys, we'll head to the MCG, 2.10pm on Saturday afternoon. It's Melbourne versus North Melbourne. Let's hear the Melbourne song. It's a grand old fight. That'll do. Thank you, Sam. And let's go straight to North Melbourne. And that'll do there. MCG 2, 10 p.m., boys. <laughs> Told you we don't muck around. Uh, Melbourne versus North. Who do you think? Um, I'd go with Melbourne. I think they're, like Port, are looking pretty good at the moment. Uh, Move yep. the ball quite well. And, um, yeah, I reckon they'll smash North Melbourne. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll tip Melbourne as well. I've got a couple of mates who are getting a gig there, so hopefully they get the win. And they look pretty good. They probably could have won the first game against Geelong, apart from Maxie's inaccurate kicking, which uh, obviously he's kicking himself about now. Yeah. Um, but in saying that, they didn't uh, have an exceptionally good game last week, but they, they played enough yeah. to get the chocolate. Yeah. So well done on that. Um, boys, Gold Coast versus Fremantle. Now, strangely enough, this game is a Gold Coast home game because of, uh, obviously, the Commonwealth oh, Games, yeah. which starts tonight. Uh, Gold Coast versus Fremantle over at Perth Stadium, 2.35pm. Let's hear Gold Coast. Thank you, Sam. Let's go straight to Frio. And that'll do there. All right. Gold Coast versus Fremantle, as I've already stipulated and pointed out, Gold Coast home game. What do you think? Yeah, I uh, watched a little bit of the Frio Essendon game at the Perth Stadium, and they looked really impressive over there. So the um, crowd seemed pretty loud. It's going to be yeah. a bit of a scary task when we go over there. So I reckon Frio will get up. 
bit of a disco at the end of the show, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Doing the interviews. It was quite amazing. Like, it's like a little coliseum over there. Wasn't it? Yeah. Very amazing. Dow was DJing, so. <laughs> yeah. Um, I think they'll get up. I think Freo will get up as well. I think their midfield's um, a bit too strong. Yeah, well, they came back with a bit of a venue. Uh, Tom Lynch, though, eight uh, bagged, um, you know, he's a nice little bag of eight. Not yeah, a bad effort. Pretty handy. Uh, it's only driven the price up for him, giving everybody enough <laughs> speculation about what he's going to do with his future. Um, SCG boys, uh, the Battle of the Bridges, I think they call it. 7:25 p.m. on Saturday night. It's Sydney versus GWS. Let's hear Sydney. Thank you, Sam. And let's go straight to GWS. There we go. Should be a cracker game. Buddy's been uh, in top form. GWS are playing very well. Scully, sadness um, with his injury going out with his ankle. Um, that's no good for him, obviously. But uh, what are your thoughts here, boys? Um, I think GWS, I think, um, yeah, we saw them firsthand a week ago now and it was quite scary yeah. um, how good they moved the ball and um, how fit their midfield all seemed. So yeah. I think they'll run away with it. Yeah, yeah I think um, GWS as well, I think, if it's going to be dry, I think they'll be too skillful. Um, they're a pretty skillful side. We obviously saw that a couple of weeks ago. So um, in the wet, it might be a little bit closer. Yeah. Okay. All right. Good tips. Um, boys, Eddie Head Stadium, 7:25 p.m. on the Saturday evening. It's St Kilda versus Adelaide. Let's hear the Saints song. Oh, when the Saints Thank you, Sammy. And uh, let's go straight to Adelaide. Well, the pride of South All right. Let me do that. Thank you, mate. Um, St Kilda, they haven't had uh, a very good start to the season. They're probably a little bit in the same boat as where you boys are at. Um, their skill errors are a little bit inherent. Adelaide came back out and got a bit of vengeance across the line by beating uh, uh, the Tigers there uh, last Thursday night. What are your thoughts here? Um, I think Adelaide will win, but you sort of never really know St Kilda. I mean, they've surprised a lot of teams in the last couple of years. Um, yeah. I think they beat us a couple of times. And, um, who else have they knocked off? Not a couple of good teams, but I think the way they're going now... Can't see him beating Adelaide after they just beat the yeah. the Premiers, so... Sounds about right. Yeah, I'll back in um, Adelaide as well. I think they're uh, back to their best after a pretty average first week, but yep. um, they came back and they're yeah, definitely on song Fight since last week. Yep, good. Like it, mate. Uh, now we're over to Sunday. Sunday, April the 8th. It's at the MCG. It's a 1.10pm game. Um, What's the weather? I think we're going to be looking at somewhere around 26 degrees on Sunday. So yes, it'll be that nice. kind of traditional yeah. Sunday afternoon yep. football, MCG, 1.10pm. Uh, it's the Richmond Tigers versus Hawthorne. Let's hear the Tigers. <laughs> Thanks, mate. We'll go straight to the Hawks. And that'll do there. Uh, and boys, great game. I don't know. You probably would have had the chance to have a look at the Easter Monday game. Yep. Uh, Geelong yep. v Hawthorne. Cracker game of football. Um, it looked... Particularly awesome. Um, Richmond yep. are now coming back after their first loss. Yep. Um, they haven't had a loss for a considerable period of time, so they're going to be coming back with a little bit of vengeance in their bloodstream. What are your thoughts here with Richmond v Hawthorne at the MCG? Yeah, I think it'll be a pretty interesting game. Um, both going quite well. It was good to see the Hawthorne, their forwards on the weekend were actually look pretty mm. dangerous, especially with um, Jarman Impey coming in. He looks pretty dangerous. Yep. Um, but... Like you said, I think Richmond, after losing, um, being the Premiers, they're going to respond quite well. I reckon they'll get up. OK, right, OK. Uh, I'm going to go with um, Hawthorne, I think. Wow. They're, cool. uh, they're looking pretty good at the moment. And, yeah. you know, to get over the top of um, the Cats on the weekend with, you know, that big three, um, performing the way that they did. Um, Tommy Mitchell was on fire setting up everything and, and things like that, I think um, they'll be pretty good. Yeah, good. All right, nice tips then, boys. Uh, MCG at 1.10pm, that game. Uh, West Coast versus Geelong. This game again over at uh, Perth Stadium on Sunday afternoon, 2.40pm. It's West Coast versus Geelong. Let's hear West Coast. Thanks, Sam. Let's go straight to the Cats. We are Geelong. And that will do there. Um, West Coast, well, you boys saw them pretty close up. Uh, we won't go into too much detail on yeah, that. Please don't. Um, yeah, please don't. <laughs> um, they're coming up against the Cats, who obviously uh, had a really good game, as I said, and have already alluded to on Easter Monday. What would your thoughts be here that um, West Coast are playing at Perth Stadium? Yeah, it'll be, it'll be quite interesting um, to see how they do play over there, but oh, I'd still think Geelong are a great outfit, and with that midfield, I just can't see West Coast beating them. But, look, you never know, but I will go with Geelong. OK, all right, good. Yeah, I'll go with Geelong as well. I think, um, like Dow said, that, that midfield's pretty good. Um, even though West Coast have Nick Nat, I still think Geelong's um, midfield will get 
first use. Yeah, good. All right, mate. Now, this is the game that uh, all the fans are here to have a listen to. What you boys are going to allude to a little bit further into um, how you're going to win it, what it's going to take to win it, and how you're going to get across the line. This game is proudly brought to you by the big picture people, the experts in home cinema. Uh, now, let's get the big picture on this game. Now, before we do, we had Dyson Heppel and Zach Merritt on the show last week, captain, vice captain of the Essendon Football Club. Um, their tips were they only got one right over last weekend. So it was yeah. really interesting to see all of their tips yeah, and right. watch it back and, and then go, that's not that good. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, the pressure's not on. Yeah. We've, you've given all your tips out of the, the first seven games, but here's your chance to talk about the Bulldogs versus Essendon. It's a crucial game. You guys need to come out and obviously get a, you know, four points on the board. That's an understatement if there was one. Um, but you're coming up against uh, the Essendon Bombers and, you know, they're going to come out and give it a red hot crack too. So tell us how you think you're going to win and what's, what's it going to take. What's training been like on the track during Monday and Tuesday as well? Yeah, I think with a pretty, pretty young crew at the moment, um, we're just trying a couple of things and um, I think it's going to take us a couple of weeks to sort of gel into this season. But um, the energy's been up in training, um, as you would expect with all the young blokes at the moment. So, yeah. um, But no, I'm really confident we can come in this week and um, be a little bit better with the ball, probably move it a bit cleaner. Um, and I think defensively as well against a pretty good midfield in Essendon, I think we can stop them. I mean, we showed that last year. Although there's been a couple changes, I think, um, yeah, I've got the confidence that we can do it. OK. Caleb, your thoughts? Yeah, I'm pretty similar um, to Luke, obviously. We, we've got a pretty young crew at the moment, but... Um, the training, training standards and, and efforts really been there um, throughout the last sort of four or five weeks leading into the season. So that's been um, really great to see, although it hasn't probably came out on the weekends. But yeah. I think um, we really need to get back to, to winning the contested footy. I mean, mm. um, we got beaten pretty convincingly on the weekend. So um, that contested ball um, side of the game is crucial. So um, especially against, like our state of midfield like Essendon, um, we're going to have to be on top there. And then um, that gives our... Our midfield first use and, and we're able to use the footy a little bit better as well so um, let's hope we can do that. Okay what's been the message coming out of uh, the coaching staff? What's what's been the message that really has been resonated that's probably been pushed into the back of your head over the last 24 to 48 hours after the loss on the weekend? What do they want you to do more so out on the field? Because you had that tackling pressure in 2016 that was just second to none. Yeah. What can you do to find that again? I think we spoke about a couple of things during the week but it's probably just going back to the, sort of the basic sort of stuff of footy. Um, whether that's quite simply just putting your head over the footy and being first in, first to leave a contest. So just the basic things, not to overcomplicate it, because yep. I think if you do, um, the mind game sort of footy can, yeah. can overtake it. And um, yeah, so basically just get back to basics and get back to just having fun yep. and okay. um, yeah, winning games again. Okay. And you just summarise all of that and say what he said. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I think. Yeah. Um, it's been a pretty positive sort of look, yeah. I guess. Um, even though you know we, we did get um, beaten pretty convincingly, there was some po positive, sorry, in the um, in the way we went about it um, yeah. during a few few um, moments. We just need to gel that all together. So yeah. um, keep taking the footy off the line and using it um, as well as we can. So um, that's all. That's all. Great. One other question I just wanted to ask and. If you don't for want to answer it, you don't have to. But um, are you happier seeing Eastern down forward or down back? Um, well, either end's all right. Um, obviously, he's gone back now, so I'll say back. But um, <laughs> no, he's, he's a superstar back. I mean, he's all Australian. Yep. So um, obviously, I like to see him there. But although um, he was doing a great job up forward, um, although he wasn't statting up, as some of the fans might see, he was, his work off the ball was fantastic. Yeah. And yeah. the other things you probably don't see watching, you know, Fox footy you know, at home, so okay. um, yeah, no, he's good at both ends. He could even play on a wing as well. He's a superstar. Yeah. yeah, good. And one last question for you, boys. How's um, how's Tom going? Tom Liberatore. Obviously, went in. He had the operation a um, couple of days afterwards. How's um, how's his mindset? How's his how's his spirit feeling? Upbeat. Yeah, well, I was emergency um, up in Sydney, so I was able to spend um, probably the last three quarters with Tom. Yep. Um, and he's a really positive guy, as probably most of the people know. Um, so he was, he was alright, he was really positive, he didn't want his old man to come down into the rooms because his old man gets a little bit emotional and that would have probably brought Tom to tears and that sort of stuff but um, yeah he wears his heart on his sleeve so um, it's really good to, to see him upbeat and um, yeah it's, it's, it's footy I guess so. Yeah. 
Onward and upward from here. Um, ladies and gentlemen, that game was brought to you by the big picture people, the experts in home cinema. Six great locations, South Morang, Cheltenham, Fountain Gate, Hoppers Crossing, Water Gardens and the Gold Coast. Can you please put your hands together for both the boys for giving us some insight into that? Thanks, guys. <laughs> Thanks, boys. The pressure's off now. <laughs> All right. We can get back to just having a little bit more fun. What I want to do here is I'm uh, looking for two contestants to actually come up and participate. All that you have to do is um, just come up the front here. Who'd like to participate? Can I see a show of hands from anyone in the room? Can I see, yes, one hand there and one hand there. Come on up. And uh, whilst they're making their way up here, I'll uh, introduce the segment. It's called, When Will I Be Famous? When will I, will I be famous? Um, who can I ask, uh, do we have here? Who are our two contestants? Hayley, hello Hayley, nice to meet you, and Kyle. Kyle, nice to have you here. I'll explain the segment and uh, we'll see how much fun we can have with it. I just actually sat it down there and you've just been looking at all the answers going, hey, that's not bad, Dan, I could, I, could, I could have a bit of fun with this. Um, I'll explain how it's going to work. What's actually going to happen here is um, I'm going to be giving these guys a Christian name, all right? Now, it's a Christian name that they have to give me then the surname of anyone on the planet. They can be an entertainer, a musician, a politician, I don't care. Um, if the crowd like it, uh, we'll give you a point for it. All right? So we're just going to go through as many okay. of these people as we can. I'm going to give you the Christian name. You guys will be keeping score down the front. Um, Kyle, you're going to be playing on behalf of Luke, <laughs> so you'll be scoring for him. And Haley, you'll be scoring on behalf of Caleb. Uh, so I'm just going to call out a name. You boys just give me a surname of anyone on the planet. There's no rules. Is it who's ever's quickest? Or? Is it? Yeah. 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 Or one that we, even if it's probably funny, we'll go with that too. <laughs> um, so let's try it. Our first one is Tom. Liberatore. <laughs> well, he's yeah. famous. Yeah. That'll do. Hanks. J Tom. Hanks. Who? Hanks. Oh, Hanks, yeah. Hanks. Yeah, Tom Hanks. Yeah, that'll do. All right, yeah, you get a point each. Yeah, let's go with that. What about uh, Arnold? Schwarzenegger. Schwarzenegger. Yes. Schwarzenegger. Schwarzenegger. All right. Well, I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll go first one in. Yeah. All right. That's what Might we'll do. Right. So we've got Luke has just got that one. So Kyle, that's a point to you. All right. Um, Sylvester. Stallone. Oh, another one to you, Kyle. There we go. Um, Kate. Blanchett. Very good. Jeez, this boy is good. I like it. It's basically to test your reflexes. So I'm liking how this is going. Nicole. Kidman. Kidman. Oh. We'll go Caleb on that one. Yeah. Well done. That's a point to you, Haley. Sandra. Bullock. Sully. <laughs> <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> <laughs> so, let, let, let me just clarify. We went Sully and... Bullock. 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 Uh, yeah. Um, yeah, we'll give it a try. Yeah, yes. all right. Thanks. We've got an adjudicator out there. Um, <laughs> one point each you can have on that one. I like it, boys. Uh, Jennifer. Lopez. Lopez. Yeah, Lopez and... Lawrence. Yeah, Lawrence and Lopez, another tie. Well, this is going well. Brad. Pitt. Oh. Yeah, there you go. Just All right, Kyle, Curly you're under that. Actually. George. Clooney. Clooney. Oh, oh Clooney. <laughs> All right, Caleb, got that one. Um, Clint. Eastwood. Oh. Caleb, well done. Um, Kobe. Brian. Stevens. Oh. <laughs> that was, I, when they get it right, I'll just call out your names, okay? So, uh, Kyle, that was a point to you. Um, Richard. Nixon. Oh. <laughs> two, two. Yeah? Chicken Nixon. <laughs> yeah, all right. Okay, we'll go with that. Um, Marilyn. Monroe. Oh. 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 Lukey. Lukey. Yeah, we'll go with Luke. Um, Donald. Trump. <laughs> that was identical. Yeah, that was... Uh, you guys are nearly in sync here. I'm liking this. Well done. Nelson. Mandela. Mandela. Oh. I'll go Luke on that one. Oh. Yeah, but oh, was, what? Yeah, yeah. I've been sick. No, all right. No, I'm only joking. We'll go, Caleb. <laughs> all right. No, Nelson Mandela, you've got it, Caleb. Um, Elvis. Presley. Presley. <laughs> you boys are completely in sync. Another point each, guys. Oprah. Winfrey. Winfrey. <laughs> <laughs> they said they were close mates, but this is ridiculous. This is spot on. Um, you're doing very well. Another point each there. Um, Michael. Jackson. Jackson. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> He's not playing, he doesn't get a point, but you can have it for him. Jackson it is. Aldoff. 
Hitler. Oh. Ah. oh. To Dr. That's, yeah, that's bad. <laughs> Get out. Sorry he got it. That. He got it. All right. Roger. Federer. Well done. All right. Um, how are we going score-wise down there? Are you two asleep or... No? <laughs> Tell me what the score is. 12. Ooh. You know why? Because no one gave you any score paddles, so I'm really <laughs> glad that you're, uh, you're actually doing that in your head. I, I, I thank you for that. Apologies for no score paddles. Um, Shane. Born. Biggs. That was Caleb on Warren. Bob. Murphy. Murphy. Ah. They both get a point for that because we love Bob here. Um, Alan. Christensen. Oh, oh that's a good <laughs> Sorry. That was no good. I was going to say Presley. I thought you said Alpha yeah. <laughs> Alan Presley. <laughs> All right. I don't mind that, but no. Um, Kathy. Freeman. Freeman. Oh, very nice. good. Yep. On the eve of the Commonwealth Games. Why not? Well, it's not the eve anymore. It's the opening. Um, your last four. Greg. Chapel. Norman. Whoa. Chapel was good. You were in first, Caleb. Yeah. Norman was also there. Ian. Chapel. Chapel. <laughs> Not bad. All right, you can have a point each there. Your second last one, Heath. Ledger. Ledger. Very good. Caleb. And your last one, Rod. Stuart. Oh. Oh, very good. All right, how um, we go score wise then? Yeah, Call it all out, Haley. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Tell me. What is it? 18? 15. We have a winner. Boo. Well done. <laughs> Caleb, you've done it. Hey, that's not bad. I enjoyed that. Um, Hayley, that's yours. You've got a merchandise pack. Plus, uh, you're off on to uh, the Comics Lounge and also off to Funfields for a day pass. And just for being a little champion, you can have one too. All right? Well done, Kyle. Thanks, mate. 13 versus 18. That wasn't too bad, boys. Not bad. Well, uh, all right, who else would like to play? We need two contestants up here that think they know a little bit about the Western Bulldogs. Who would be interested in that? Can I see a show of hands from who would be interested? No. Come on. Yeah, the gentleman up the back there. Come on up. And who else? Who else? We need one other person. Who's interested? That gentleman there in the white shirt. Come on up. Pull up a seat. What would your name be, sir? Phil. Hello, Phil. Nice to meet you. Take a seat, my friend. Who would you like to play for? Luke. All right, you sit over that side. And sir, your name? Paul. Hello, Paul. And you're going to be playing for Caleb. All right? Uh, yes, if you don't mind, that would be wonderful. What's going to be happening here, boys, you're actually going to be keeping score. So get your paddles back to um, zero or one and get ready to flip them over. What's going to be happening here? I'm going to introduce the segment, boys, and then I'll get into explaining it. It's called Simply the Best. You're simply the best. Than all. all right. What's going to happen here? Um, the boys are going to be keeping score for you, Phil. Luke's going to be keeping score for you. Right. I'd like you to test your buzzer. Your buzzer is your name. Yeah, Phil. Well, well done. Such enthusiasm. I love it. <laughs> um, Paul, could you test your buzzer? Paul. All right, well done. Uh, the first one that buzzes in with their name and then gets the correct answer gets the point. All right? That's how it's going to be working. So I'm going to be asking you a series of questions, 13, or 12 to be exact, and uh, the first one isn't that buzzes in to get it right. There's your point. Are you ready to go, boys? Uh, yes. Correct. Right. Okay. How many premierships has your club won? Two. Paul. <laughs> so Paul said? Two. Paul said two. Got to use your buzzer. That's the only way I can do this. You've got to buzz in. Paul, you've got two. All right. There we go. All right. How many times has your, played, has your team played in a losing grand final? Paul. Paul? Once. Well done, mate. You're off, the off with two points. Um, who is your team's captain? Paul. Paul? Easton Wood. Very good. Score a three. Who wears the number seven at your club? Phil. Paul. Yeah, Phil? Lockie. Yeah, keep going. Um, Hunter. That'll do. Very good. <laughs> Thanks, mate. Uh, how many members does your club currently have closest to within a 1,000 I'll give you? Phil. Phil. Uh, 30. No. Mm. Do you want to have a go, Paul? 41. You're closer. Uh, it's 39,488. 
um, but you're not close within a thousand, so I can't give it to either of you. Where did your team finish on the ladder at the end of the home and away season last year? Paul. Paul? Tenth. Correct, mate. How many games did your team win last year at the end of the home and away season? Uh, Phil. Phil. Eight. No, you'd be closer to what the lady said out there. Um, Eleven, it was. What year did your team last win a grand final and who did they play? Paul. Paul? 2016, the Swans. Swans, very good. How many points did you win that grand final by? Paul. Yes, Paul? 22. Correct, mate. Well done. Well done. She's going all right, brother. Uh, who won the Norma Smith medal in that grand final? Phil. Phil? Uh, Jason Johansson. Very good, mate. Yes. Who was your club's leading goal kicker in 2017? Bonus point if you can tell me the amount of goals. Paul. Paul? Uh, Liam Picken. Yes. Just Either 24 or 26. Which would you like to go with? <laughs> Which was closer? <laughs> well, they're both close to the answer, mate. Which would you like, though? Uh, 24. You'd be correct. Was there another person that was also the leading gold kicker for Paul. a bonus point? Stringer. You've got it. He's very good, this boy. Sitting on... Well, we, we're, just, we're handing out points here, mate. Handing them out. So you're up to eight. Uh, here's your last question, boys. Uh, Phil, uh, well played, mate. Um, <laughs> give me the next line after this. Bulldogs through and through. No. Come on, boys. Buzz in. No one? No? Anyone else want to shout it out? Oh, yeah, that made sense. Uh, do you boys want to tell me? <laughs> we haven't sung it much this year, Damo. Uh, it is Bulldogs Bite and Bulldogs Roar. There's no, no score there. Boys, very well played. Phil and Paul, we have a winner. Congratulations, mate. Paul, you're it. Well done, mate. Merchandise pack, and uh, you're off to the comics lounge. Go and have a night out there, and also to Funfields. You've got a day pass. Well done, mate. Nicely done. Good on you, champ. It's not bad at all. How are you feeling, boys? Good. All Very good? good. Yeah, good. Just happening along nicely. It's and getting to meet the fans yep. and have a little bit of interaction with them and uh, see what they know and what they don't feel. Um, but that was good fun. What we're going to do here, boys, um, I've got another little segment that I'd like to introduce. This is where we just need two people to sit up here and do nothing but turn over a paddle. Are there any kids out there in the room? Um, that lady over there put her arm up and this lady here. You come on up. Paddles are back to one. I'll introduce the segment while you're coming up. Please take a seat. Who would you like to represent? Caleb. Caleb. Well, you're sitting in the right spot. That's what worked out well. Can I ask what your name is? Ricky Lee. Nice to have you, Ricky Lee. And? Angela. Angela. Nice to meet you as well. Good to have you here both. Uh, let's introduce the segment. It's called Say My Name. <laughs> All right, boys, this is how this one works. So I like this segment. I reckon and, uh, you'll get a bit of a kick out of it. Maybe you will, maybe you won't. You'll tell me at the end of it. Uh, what I'm going to be doing here, I'm going to be reading out the players' numbers from your current list, all right? So it's players from your club, current list. I'm going to give you the number. You've got to give me their name, all right? I'd love it if you could give me the full name. Um, because that way if you then get it and the next person just says their surname, it kind of looks like cheating. And we haven't got any yellow sandpaper here for that. So what we want to do is um, give us a full name if you can. Who'd like to go first? Well done, Luke. You're yep, first. first. All right. Yeah, I'd love to. Um, so, Angela, you're going to be playing on behalf of Luke. Each time he gets one right, you flip it on over. Ricky Lee, same thing for you when Caleb comes up. Here is your time <clears throat> with your numbers. You've got 45 seconds on the clock. Let's see how many you can get right. Okay, number one. Matthew Suckling. Correct. Number two. Lewis Young. Correct. Number 27. Mitch Wallet. Oh. Ah. <laughs> 27. Patrick Lipinski. Yes, correct. 38. Da, no. Dale Morris. Correct. Number four. Bond and Pally, Marcus. C correct. 46. Lin Jong. Correct. Seven. Lockie Hunter. Correct. 25. Oh, God. Next. Next. Pass. Marcus Adams. Number eight. Um, Jackson Trengrove. Correct, 42. Liam Pickin. Correct, 9. 
Hayden Crozier. Correct, 32. Oh, I can't think of it. <laughs> Next. Pass. Yeah. Yep, Kieran Collins, number 11. Um, Jackson McCray. Correct, number 13. Um, oh, no. Oh. How do you go, Angela? 10. Ten. Sorry. Not bad, mate, not bad. That's all right, not bad. 10, it's not a bad score. Um, now we're going to do the 45. <laughs> Look at you. He's just nervous. <laughs> right with his leg going, oh, I don't know about this. <laughs> We'll see how you go here, mate. Um, you've got 45 seconds on the clock. And uh, Ricky Lee, you ready to go? Here we go. Here is your first number. Number 13. Josh Shackey. Correct. Number 31. Bailey Dale. Correct. Number 14. Clay Smith. Correct. Number 34. Bailey Williams. Correct. Number 15. Oh, wow. Pass. Tom Campbell. <laughs> number 21. Lira. Tom. Correct. 22. Mitch Honeychurch. Correct. Number 16. Toby McLean. Correct. Number 19. Lucas Webb. Correct. Number 12. Zane Cordy. Correct. Number 3. Mitch Wallace. Correct. Number 5. Josh Dunkley. Correct. Number 6. Deny. <laughs> <laughs> Pass. <laughs> number 23. Jordan Ruffhead. Correct. Number 10. Eason Wood. Correct. Number 24. Shane Biggs. Correct. 28. Colin Porter. Whoa. How'd you go, Ricky Lee? 15. Good stuff. You know Luke, a bit about the club. Get, Luke doesn't um, get past his Not a bad around. effort, um, but you're our winner, so you're going to get the uh, Comics Lounge and off to the Fun Fields. <laughs> and uh, just for participating, there's a nice beanie to keep your head warm over the winter months. Thank you very much, Angela. Thank you very much, Ricky Lee. Please put your hands together for them. Thanks, guys. Well done. I mean, it's a bit of a relaxing show, but man, I'll get you on tense. your toes, keep you on your toes the whole now. way through. Oh, I love it. Um, boys, what we're going to do here, this is our last segment before we're going to go to a half-time break. At the half-time break, as I um, told the fans here before, we'll be switching the light on over there. You'll be able to get your photos with the boys, uh, line up in a nice orderly fashion along the front here. Um, once you've got your photo, just move on out. Um, if we've got time, we'll get a few autographs so just, um, the boys can participate in that. This is a segment, though, boys, where you can either give a one-word answer or you can give a full sentence, whatever you feel like. We'll introduce the segment. It's called What Can I Say? Excellent. What we're going to do here, boys, I'm going to ask you um, a series of questions, as I said, and you just give me a one-word answer or longer. Um, what are your thoughts on AFLX? Dislike. Yeah, no good. <laughs> no good. No good and dislike. Pre-season games are? Uh, annoying. Annoying. Practice. <laughs> Practice. <laughs> All right. A super goal, should it be in home and away games? No. I can't kick that far, yeah, so... <laughs> <laughs> no. So it's pointless. I yeah. get it. Um, Travelling into state is? Expensive. Yeah. Yeah. Um... Time consuming. I was about to say the same thing. Yeah. Time consuming. Time consuming. We'll go with that. Should Tasmania have a team of their own? Yes. Yes. Yeah, yep. good. Um, Thursday night footy is? I like it. I like it as well. Yeah, good. Um, your thoughts on a mid season draft? Um, no, I don't like it. Don't no? like it. No? Okay. Um, Bulldog supporters are? The best. Excellent. Yeah. There you go. We get them involved by asking those questions. I like that. Um, would you like to see State of Origin return? Yes. Yes. Oh, good. Excellent. Uh, your thoughts on the Twilight Grand Final? Keep it the same. Yeah, keep it the same. Very traditional. Yep, all right. Um, what is your favourite ground to play on? Mm. MCG. Fondest yep, memory. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, <laughs> there we go. Um, should staging be a finable or reportable offence? Oh, I think reportable. Yeah. yeah, I think reportable as well. Luke okay. might be in a bit of strife. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, being an, an AFL footballer is? A privilege. Great. That's a good one. Yeah, go with that. All right. Um, here's a topical one. Eddie had roof, open or closed? Closed. Yeah, after the weekend, it was too hot. I can close. Yeah, closed. All right. An AFL coach's job is? <laughs> the <Jeez>. hardest. <laughs> How long ago? Uh, yeah. Time consuming <laughs> and, yeah, not, and the rest. <laughs> yeah, not for you, I get it. Um, your thoughts on Good Friday football? Yeah, good. 
pretty yeah. stiff we didn't get the gear yeah. in, but... So I thought yeah, I'd anyway. give you the chance to express that. Your thoughts? Yeah, I like it as well. Yep, great. Um, do you like round 23, the buy round? Yeah, I do like that. I, I think like that it. helped us out a lot in yep. our 2016 campaign. Yeah, yeah, yeah good. Get a little freshen up. Yep. Um, playing for the Bulldogs is? A privilege. A privilege. Yeah, good. All right. Um, which team has the most feral supporters? Oh, besides the obvious. Um, I don't know. Oh, Port Adelaide's pretty average yeah, sometimes. Yeah. Wow. I, I, I cop a lot of shit when I go there. I cop a lot. <laughs> that, do you know how interesting this is? This is the fourth show for 2018, and they've come up trumps each time. Yeah. All yeah. right? So you're not alone in your thoughts <laughs> there, boys. Uh, what's better, Mark or Goal of the Year? Mark of the Year. Yep. Yeah, I wouldn't mind taking Mark of the Year. That'd be yeah. nice. Beautiful. Um, Bulldogs this year will finish? <laughs> Top three. Three. Fourth, I'm going to say. Yeah, top three, top four. I like it. Okay, boys. Bit of work to do. Get out there and get it done. Let's make it happen. Um, when, you, when you see a poster or merchandise of yourself, what do you think? This is awkward. Mm. <laughs> I like it. Yeah, that's good. I'm going to go that one. <laughs> yeah. Well, it is a good answer. I do. Um, which team will finish with a wooden spoon in 2018? Uh, North Melbourne. Yeah. Yeah, I think so too. Okay. Yeah. Unanimous vote. Um, who is your Brownlow chip for 2018? Uh, Dust Martin. Yeah. Um, Jackson McRae at the minute, to be honest. Okay. All right. Beautiful. Um, what is your reaction when you see a kid with your number on their back? Um, yeah, it still weirds me out. Yeah. 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 It's still very surreal. Yeah, it weirds me out as well. I don't yeah, don't. Luke's had it for a fair while now, so <laughs> yeah. I'm just starting to get used to it a little yeah, bit. Yeah, wow. Well, that's nice. Thanks for your understanding. I like it. Um, do you prefer summer or winter? Um, oh, geez, I like them both. Yeah. Uh, I love the beach, <laughs> so summer, but I love winter clothes and, yeah, yeah chilling, so. Beautiful. Yep, yeah, all right. Good answers. Um, describe Melbourne, Melbourne traffic in one word. Oh, jeez, I don't want to get too <laughs> You're allowed to say whatever you want on these shows, mate. Sick house. Yeah. Sick of it. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah, I, yeah, yeah coming from Adelaide, you miss something by two minutes if you're in a whole heap of traffic and then yeah. get a little bit of traffic here Total and miss, completely miss something. So. Yeah, wow. <sighs> I can't even put it into a sentence. Uh, what's the one thing you can't live without? My dog. Good. Uh, oh, or mum. Mum's good. Oh, yeah. Oh. Nice one. Slip that That's in. I nice like it. Out. Good on you, champ. Yep. Yeah, no, see my, yeah. Yep. I don't have a dog, but mum, of course. Yeah, mum. Or good. me. Yeah. 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 Take it or leave it. Uh, this one you can't take or leave. You have to choose. If you had to choose, would it be music or TV? Oh. Music. Yeah, I'm going to say music as well. Great. Excellent. All right. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, that was What Can I Say. Thanks, boys. Well done. Oh, Thanks, guys. Know, yeah. uh, what we're going to do now... Um, all I wanted to ask you, have you all had a good time tonight? Yes. Have you enjoyed meeting both Caleb and, and Luke? Yes. Yeah, good. You've probably already met them before I get that, but this is another environment. Um, the reason I ask you that question is because every Wednesday night during the AFL footy season... Uh, there's obviously 24 rounds in the season. We do 30 of these shows. We've already done, this is now our fourth. Um, coming up next week, Wednesday night, obviously, uh, April the 11th, we're doing a St Kilda show with Josh Bruce and Jack Nunes, live from the Sandbelt Hotel in Moorabbin. On April the 18th, we're doing a show at the Burvale Hotel with Jack Viney and Christian Petrarca from the Melbourne Football Club. On April the 25th, we're doing a show with Richmond's Dion Prestia and Josh Caddy, uh, live at the Sandown Hotel in Noble Park. On May the 9th, we're doing a show with Tom Mitchell and Liam Shields um, from the Matthew Flinders Hotel in Chadston. And on May the 9th, we're doing a Colton show at the Excelsior Hotel in uh, Thomastown with Patrick Cripps and Jack Silvani. I bring that up because we get some great talent on this show, like these two here tonight. So can you please put your hands together for them? Thank you. Thank um, you. I wanted to now ask you boys, have you had a good time? Yes, had a great time. Loved great. it. Yeah, I've had Enjoyed a good time. It's good fun. Yeah, good, good, good. That's what we want. A little bit of a smile on their face. Oh, I know it's a bit of doom and gloom around at the club at the moment. You boys will go out and uh, do your best on the weekend um, to get back on the winners list. That's what all these fans are hoping you will do. Uh, all I wanted to say is thanks to Sam. Um, thanks, mate. Did a great job tonight. Sandy, you've been a trooper, mate. You've been everywhere. You've done everything. Thanks, she says. <laughs> oh, she's very proud of it. Oh, Sandy. There it is. Well done.
No, thanks, Hunt. Uh, absolutely great job. If you want to follow us, get onto our Facebook page, Instagram. Uh, this show will be on YouTube, so you can check that all out. Uh, we're on Instagram, we're on Facebook, we're on all of those social media things, however they work, I don't know. Um, but uh, all I wanted to say is we hope you've had a good time tonight. I just really wanted to just sign off and say we hope you've had a good time. My name's Damien, thanks for coming and good night. Thank Cheers, you. guys. Thanks for having us.